everybody, Diana here, and welcome back to Foxtail Brush. And I'm going to be honest, I had no idea what I was going to do for this week's video. And then I went to the mailbox and... Oh, art Snacks! Yay! So this is the March Art Snacks box. And I haven't opened it yet. There's still a little... I just ripped off the mailing thing. But let's open it up. Okay, scissors. <laughs> Open it up and see what's inside. I'm wondering what we're gonna get today. You think it's more paint? Do you think it's some more pencils? All right, let's see. Let's start. Whoa, what's this? What is this? <gasps> Ooh, a pencil bag. Let's see. Uh, uh. Ooh, and I love this color. I love like, you know, like teal blue. I guess it just looks plain blue on my camera, but it's a little bit teal colored. And it's, oh, it's double zip. Oh, I like that. I've never had a double zip bag before. So this will be nice. I can like organize things a lot better. I need to organize in general, but yeah. So that's cute. And it has the little Art Snacks pencil logo on it. So yeah, nice size. I mean, you can't put like a ton of pencils in there, but I'm sure like, if you're gonna go out do like some art out in the park or something, you know, just take some of the essentials like a pen, pencils, erasers, whatnot, maybe some basic colors. So yeah, I like that. And oh, warheads! Oh man, memories. Who used to eat these? I used to eat these all the time back in like what elementary school, junior high school. I don't know. But me and my friends used to like. Who can eat the most without making a face? <laughs> so, all right, wait, let's get the list out. All right, Art Snacks Pencil Case. Ooh, retail value, $13.25. So, custom made from durable nylon. This case comes in Art Snacks teal. Ha <laughs> ha, see, I told you it was teal. And a color exclusive to our customers. Ooh, so I'm guessing they sell this, but they don't have it available in this, um, in this color anywhere else. So that's cool, exclusive. All right, so next we're gonna look for, <gasps> ooh, I see stickers, I like stickers. Okay, let's see. Um, let's look for the copy Chiao double ended marker. Why is everything in foreign languages? I can't, uh, I can't translate. <laughs> My goodness gracious. It says alcohol based marker. So that's good. Uh, double ended marker has two durable nibs, super brush on one end, and medium broad chisel on the other end. Ooh, let's see. Oh, look at that chisel. Look at that. Okay, wait, let me get my scrap paper. One second. Scratch paper. Oh, and I just wrote it on myself. Okay. Ooh. And let's see what the other end is. Whoa, it's a brush pen. Whoa. I've never I've never owned a Copic, a Copic marker before. I know they're expensive. Um, I've never really been into markers, I guess because it's the same thing as pen. They're so permanent and I'm afraid of that. But I don't know. This will be fun to test it out. And I really like the brush tip that you get such like a, you know, like calligraphy style kind of effect, but yeah, that's cool. Oh, and it is apparently refillable and the nibs are replaceable. Ooh, and I like the color too, like a burgundy kind of color. And then let's see over here, a uh, Copic multi-liner. Uh, here we go. And we got brown. This is 0.3. Oh. I like the fine tip pens. Ooh, so it's a very light brown. It's not super dark. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, so excited about the pen. All right. Wow, I feel fancy now because I've never had Copic product anything. So yeah, feeling fancy. Um, Lyra Color Giants. 
laid down. Oh, I didn't even read the, the pen. We're including two Copic products this month. Yeah, because Copic is fancy. Um, sturdy nib and smooth ink flow. Nice. Archival pigment-based ink is waterproof and Copic-proof when dry. Meaning it will not bleed when colored over with your new Copic Chow marker. Ooh. To avoid smearing, we recommend using this pen before applying colored pencils. Okay. So now we know. Pen first, pencils after. Gotcha. And then lay down some major color with Lyra Color Giants. These oversized, highly pigmented color pencils are perfect for covering large areas in your artwork. Oh, extra thick, break resistant cores last three times longer than regular color pencils. We've packed your box with two different colors so you can fully experience their brilliant light fast quality. Ooh, so light fast means it will not fade if you leave it in the sun. Uh, well, you're drawing, not the pencils. Hey, this one's not as sharp as this one. What the heck? Ooh, so this one's similar. You can see here. This is a little bit more purple. This is a little bit more red, but they're similar tones. Um, hmm. My only question is, what size sharpener are you gonna need for these pencils? Cause they're pretty, they're pretty fat pencils. Um, I don't think I own a sharpener that big, but we'll, we'll have to go get one. It's okay, we will figure it out. All right, and the last thing is our birthday present to you. Our snacks are five years old this month. Ooh, happy birthday, Art Snacks. It's been an exciting year and we're celebrating a birthday gift to you, a limited edition Art Snacks sticker sheet. Woo! And then apparently they're having a live stream on March 22nd to demo their products. Cool. So let's look at the stickers. So I really like stickers. I don't know. I grew up around the age of like Hello Kitty stores. So I used to always buy the stickers and stuff, but I never used the stickers. I just saved them and hoarded them. I think I actually still have some from when I was like 10 years old and I was like, I'm just gonna save this forever. So I love stickers, but I don't know. I guess I don't like putting them places cause then I'm like, there, now it's done. I can never use it again. What if I had an emergency that I needed a sticker and I like, <laughs> use the sticker, I don't know. I know I'm weird. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. So we have a, it looks like a sketchbook, a cake with, instead of a candle, it has a pencil that's really clever, art snacks, paintbrush, pencil, a paint palette with some paint splotches, art snacks and big bubble letters, and their pretzel. So those are cute. So this is cool stuff. This is, ugh, I think my favorite thing is for sure the pencil case, and then we can... You can do this. You can say, well, I'm gonna go do the Arts Next Challenge, but I wanna do it, whoop. But I wanna do it at the park, so yeah. So put the pencils on one side, and then the inks on the other side. Shablamo! Look at that, now I'm all ready to go. Now the hard part is coming up with something to draw. Hmm. Maybe I'll suck on this warhead and get an idea. Man, extreme sour. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat this. Maybe I should record my face, like, reacting to eating this thing. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe at the end I'll, like, stick that in there. <laughs> All right. So, let's get to doing some art. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is this multi-liner. And although I really like this pen, I like that you can build up the darkness of the brown by layering it over and over. And it's got a really nice fine nib. You can't put the cap on the back of the pen. I mean, isn't isn't that the point? Is you take off the cap and you put it on the back of the pen so you don't lose it, right? But you couldn't do it with this pen. I don't know, it's just designed weird or I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. So I was like, fine, I'll just put it on the table and probably lose it because I lose everything. <laughs> so anyways, uh, for this, I'm not used to drawing with these kind of colors. The warm tones are not my thing. I usually go with cooler tones like blues and green. So I had a hard time coming up with an idea for something with orange and purple. And I kind of looked up some stuff and most of the stuff I was getting was either birds or flowers and meh. That's cool, I guess, but it wasn't inspiring me. So I went to Pinterest and look at my, my drawing reference ideas and I saw this beautiful mermaid and thought, oh, that would be fun. It's a mythical creature. I can make it whatever color I want. So I decided to go with the mermaid. And I really like how my sketch turned out, but once I started inking, I got really nervous because ink is so permanent. And I started shaking and the lines came out kind of wonky. And I was like, yeah, that's why she has one wonky eye. I just, I shouldn't have started on the eye. I don't know why I did that. And so, yeah, I 
kept getting more nervous. My hand would shake more. And so it was an endless vicious cycle of trying to like fix the pen. Basically, I I'm, I just need to practice with pen more. I don't do it that much. So I really need to get back into using pen again. Um, and the one thing I did do though is it looked really flat when I finished outlining at first. So I just went back and added some line variation, make some parts thicker, some parts thinner. So if you draw and you have drawings that look kind of flat, just adding a little bit of line variation like that will really help bring some more dimension to your drawing and make it more, you know, it'll just pop. It'll, it'll look more finished than if it was just simple, straight, you know, thin squiggly lines. So I ended up finish outlining it and I guess it wasn't so bad. I still like my pencil sketch more, but you know, whatever. And I decided, all right, I'm going to color it in now. So I decided to make her purple skin because why not? And I really like the quality of these color pencils. They're not super waxy. You can really build up layers upon layers of color and make the colors as dark as you want. Um, I haven't worked with color pencil in a while. So again, something I just need to get back into. And it took me a little bit to try to layer it up and smooth it out so you couldn't see my pencil strokes as much. But eventually I got to a good enough point where you couldn't see the pencil, pencil strokes as much. And like I said, you can just layer it on top of each other and it does a good job of just building up. There's some color pencils that they'll try to build it up and it just kind of like makes a big waxy glob of pencil and yeah, no, this did not do that. So this was nice. Oh, I did try smudging it cause I, I like smudging when I draw and it did smudge a little bit, not too much. So it's not really a smudging pencil. And I did try erasing some parts too and it did erase a little bit again, but pretty much whatever you put down, expect it to stay down. And then I thought I'd be a little fancy and do a little gradient here on the bottom of her tail. Put some purple and mix it in with the orange. And again, it was one of those things where I was like, uh, I'm not liking how this is turning out, but I just gotta keep going, keep pushing it to the end. And I felt like the closer I was getting to the end, I was like, oh, maybe I do like it. And then I do something and I not like it again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I had such a big issue with this one. I just didn't, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. You know what I mean? I'm not really happy with how it turned out, but oh well. The scarier part was the marker. I don't use markers. Um, maybe back in art school. So that was really scary. But the marker was really good quality. You can put down the ink and go like I went around the hair for example and then come back and put the line next to it and it wouldn't leave streaks. I know some markers you gotta color really fast or you're gonna see the streaks where the marker went over it but not with this one. It kind of laid all nice and even and smooth and flat so I really really like that. But again I hardly ever work with markers so this is just something I need to get back into doing and get you know get practice and hopefully get better with it because yeah again I did the hair and I was like no now it looks ugly again <laughs> so yeah this this drawing was just a struggle but you know what it's okay it's it's all about learning the mediums and having fun with it right oh god this is where I really ruined it I was like hey I'll do a shadow on the bottom it looks like she's bleeding or something it looks so bad I don't know I don't know what I was thinking Whatever, it was fun using these new things and I just gotta practice more. Okay, so really quick, at the end, I thought that the mermaid looked a little plain, so I thought I would draw bubbles around it. Yeah, big mistake. It looks like a weird cheetah print, so I just stopped and yeah, kinda gave up. So, oh well, whatever. <laughs> you gotta learn when to stop, guys. You gotta learn when to say no more, but for an added bonus, I thought I would eat the warhead on camera so you guys can watch me suffer. I know Jamin will like this and my sister and my brother because they're evil. But this was the extreme sour. Mm. That's nice and coated with lemony goodness. Oh, man. Okay, ready? See if I can hold a straight face. I think it was like 30 seconds was how long these last, so.
sour stuff, like, I, I love putting lemon on everything. And my family knows I really like a lot of lemon stuff. But this was just... Mm. Did they make them stronger? I don't remember them being this bad as a kid. Oh, my gosh. I can't feel my tongue. <laughs> mm. So I'm just trying to suck all the like sour part off so it could just be the sweet candy underneath. But the sweet candy is lemon flavored too. What the heck? <laughs> I'm like sweating. That made me, that was like so bad. <laughs> it made me sweat. Woo! All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my awkward faces. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And I will see you next time for another video. Bye!